This is a Cyan Organizer SD gadget, sort of breakout board plugged into the uh, pack slot of this organizer. And uh, this all works, you can use menus to load various um, organizer images and so on. And um, it's quite nice, but it's a bit large, it's sort of the same size as the organizer itself, really. And I thought, well, it'd be nice if I could put something in something that's sort of the same sort of form factor as a data pack. Now obviously that's a lot smaller than this. It really entails putting all this onto a board that's just the size of uh, that bit there. Um, so I did a board, there it is, and it does actually have all this, well most of it, on that board. It's got um, the level shifters and so on, and the connector, and it's actually got some um, buttons and so on. And this is a populated one, so um, you can see that it is really, well it's just that big, it's probably just to the end of that level shifter. So uh, this, this works, and uh, it's got the connector, it's got the level shifters here, it's got an SD card um, socket there, takes up quite a lot of board space. It's got a very delicate USB connector there. And uh, on the other side we've got an RP2040, SPI flash, larger package than uh, on the Pico. Didn't really fancy soldering that package. Uh, four buttons and um, a few other support components and so on. And uh, a display. Now the display is half the size of the one on the uh, breakout board and as you can see, it's actually 180 degrees out from where it should be. It should actually be under the keys, not poking out like that. But that's my fault. I laid the board out wrong, so that'll need fixing. But uh, I'll plug it in, and um, we'll have a look at it. It does. I mean, it plugs in exactly the same, but it doesn't fit in a data pack connector. And uh, I found out that you do not ever plug it in with the SD, uh, sorry, the USB connected, because if you do, actually I haven't got an SD card in there. Let's put one in. And pull it out. It's quite a hefty connector for such a small board. If you do plug it in, I found that um, the force needed to plug it into the organizer with the USB cable attached usually rips the connector off the board. So uh, I need to get a better footprint with some more physical ah, mount points. So uh, you plug it in like that, it's fairly neat, it'd be even neater if the display wasn't poking out to the side like that, which uh, it's just a bit of a shame that. But uh, I'll power it up and we can um, try it out. It goes in there. A USB is a nice way of powering things, but it's a delicate connector at the best of times. So that has now powered up, and it's the same menu as the um, gadget. It's running the same code as the um, this board, except that it's got uh, half the number of lines available. So that will be now emulating the default, which is the fishing pack. So let's just check that it's working. We'll go in there, turn it on, hit on, pack A 4%, pack B 28%, the normal 28% for the fishing. Do a program directory fish, so that's coming off that little board there, out of the default, um, the default pack that I put into the RAM. I copy it from Flash on Power Up. So what we can do is put that in the main menu, and then we can do... Um, the normal menu stuff, if I exit the polling loop like that, I can now list what's on the SD card. We'll go down to there's the cursor button. Let's put let's put something else on. Uh, what we got here? Um, there's a games package that'll do. So if I select that. That's just selected the file name, back to the menu, there's a few bugs in it, 
menu didn't appear for some reason read that file 32k back to the menu so we now exit from the menu which is that button we're now back in the polling loop so now hit it on to load it in if we do I pack A 4% pack B 99% it's a very full pack that one so if we go to the prog and do a DIR we've got games all sorts of games poker Simon runner I think I don't know how to run this one I think you probably just do games don't you what does that do there you go sub runner 10 pin slots poker pontoon What's sub runner so there you go looks to be some sort of uh, there you go, some sort of underwater play again. So there's some user defined graphics there and uh, scrolling off to the left. That must be my sub, which presumably I move up and down with something. Oh, up and down. Oh, there we go. Game over. So that's um, loaded that off the SD card, which is around the other side. And um, it's presented it. And uh, it all works just like the larger board does but in a very, very much smaller form factor. So, uh, once I've swapped the display around, it, hopefully it will fit better in the, um, in the slot there. And the, the idea was hopefully I can, get the, uh, I can get the cover back on, so you could actually seal it all up and put it in there and you could load either, tell the thing to load a particular file at power on or um, whatever. One downside is that uh, you do need USB so if you've got two of them plugged in you'll need uh, two USB cables plugged in or one of those multi cables. It's just a just a consequence of the way that the power is done on the organiser. But uh, yeah once it's programmed obviously you don't have that wire hanging out and um, hopefully you'd be able to fit that in with the display although I've noticed that it's quite high on the board so it might need to actually bend down a bit or something so maybe you won't be able to get the cover on but either way it's a pretty useful um, little gadget I think <laughs>